family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon, and pass over the World Space Agency's former MTT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted area. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Page for World News 1, September 16, 2059, wishing you a safe and happy day. Katrina, are you there? There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, Humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us. The moon. Friends 
and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecasts of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's land mass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPC ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted area. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Cage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. We're ready to start the mission. Do you copy?